Hi, I'm Laura Thomas. I'm an author and a book lover. And today I'm bringing you a book review for The Rose Code by Kate Quinn, who is a New York Times and USA Today best-selling author of other books such as The Huntress and The Alice Network. Now, The Rose Code is published by William Morrow. It was published in 2021 and is a brilliant historical fiction based in the 1940s. It follows the friendship and relationship between three amazing women who all served their country at Bletchley Park in England, where the best minds were trained to break German military codes. The cover is a lovely warm welcome into the story of these women. The 1940s style lady in a rose-colored dress gazing off into a muted golden background of code keys. It's a really pretty color. So the storyline, without giving any spoilers, it's about ordinary women doing extraordinary work, as I said, in Bletchley Park in wartime England. It flits between the 1940s as the war progresses in those early years and to 1947, just as the royal wedding day approaches between Prince Philip and Princess Elizabeth. So as the war begins, we have these three friends. We have Osla, who is a beautiful socialite. Um, she's quick-witted. Uh, lacking in family stability, but she ends up dating Prince Philip. She's also fluent in German. And so at Bletchley Park, she is used to translate decoded enemy secrets. The second friend is Mabe, short for Mabel. And she's a feisty girl from one of the poorer areas in London. And she tries to reinvent herself uh, by getting an education. And she aims to snag a husband and to make something of her life. And she ends up working on code-breaking machinery in Bletchley. And lastly, we have Beth, sweet Beth, who has zero self-esteem. She's shy. Um, she has a mother who is really oppressive and abusive toward her. And uh, Beth herself believes she's good for nothing. Whereas in fact, she is utterly brilliant and a star cryptanalyst. So by 1947, these three good friends actually become complete enemies uh, due to betrayal and secrecy, which just tear their relationship apart, leaving one of them even in an asylum. Then there's a letter and a traitor, and suddenly Osla, Mabe, and Beth need to work together one last time to break one last code, the Rose Code. So the pros, there are some fascinating twists in this book. In fact, I literally gasped out loud at one point, so loudly, that my husband thought there was something legitimately wrong with me. It's extremely well researched. The author even went to England, to Bletchley Park, and uh, she learned how the machinery was used, and she read dozens of books on code breaking, and you can really tell. Uh, also, I it really made me think about the aftermath um, post-war for these women who worked these very uh, secretive jobs at Bletchley. They had to go back to their regular lives as, as moms and wives, housewives, and uh, forget about that crazy part of their life. And so much of it had to be kept secret. Also, it was really cool to see the way uh, men and women worked shoulder to shoulder in these really important roles at Bletchley, uh, which was really pretty cool for back in the day. And the cons. This is a World War II book, so obviously the subject matter is going to be gritty and raw. Uh, there are triggers. There's both physical and sexual abuse. Um, and of course, there's going to be loss of life and grief involved as well. So just be warned uh, that those triggers, because of the nature of the book, they're going to be there. Um, and lastly, it's a long book. It's 656 pages long. Um, so if you don't like a long book, it might be a bit of a challenge for you. But honestly, I flew through this book. I found it engaging all the way through. 
So in summary, The Rose Code is a gripping historical fiction fraught with love, grief, betrayal, friendship, and unfathomable secrecy. Both thought-provoking and heartbreaking, this story is a beautiful reminder of sacrifices made and the resilience of humankind. If you would like to pick up a copy of The Rose Code, I have my Amazon link right below here. And if you could like this video, that would be wonderful. And uh, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my reviews. And if you want to find out anything about me and my own books, hop over to laurathomasauthor.com. That's all for now. Happy reading and thanks for watching.